Now let's talk about the black specks on tortilla chips and why some potato chips are green and why those aren't wholly the best for you to eat. First, the specks. Now I hope you sit down for this bit of information, but the staple ingredient for both corn and tortilla chips is corn. An ear of corn is made up of individual rows of kernels, and each kernel is attached to the cob via the tip cap located at the very bottom of the kernel. Strip away the tip cap and the hilum is revealed. The hilum is what seats the base of each kernel and draws in water and other ingredients that are needed during the growth process. The hilum, in a way, serves as a sort of umbilical cord for the kernel. Once the kernels detach from the cob, the hilum remains as a type of scar from where it was connected. The hilum starts out clear and then progresses to light green and then brown and finally black, which shows up on some more mature kernels. It is these mature kernels that are used to make corn and tortilla chips. Since these specks of hilum do not disappear during the cooking process, they remain visible in the final food product. In addition to corn and tortilla chips, the black hilum can also typically be seen on taco shells, corn tortillas, and other similar foods made with corn. But to conclude, in some sense, when you are eating the black specks, you are eating the little ground up and murdered baby corn's umbilical cords. And onto the green potato chips then. As another bit of shocking information, the potatoes grow underground and thus are generally not going to get any direct sunlight to the potato part of the plant. However, sometimes some part of the potato does ultimately get exposed to sunlight and as a result of this, chlorophyll develops. So why are the green potato chips sometimes called poisonous? After all, nothing is wrong with eating chlorophyll. Well, the answer lies in a glycoalkaloid that is also found in potato plants called solanine, which otherwise is produced in the above ground portions of the plant and provides provides some protection from insects and the like. For the potatoes themselves, lucky enough to get some sunlight and green of their own, this also ends up in the glorious potato chips created from these potatoes. Granted, the amount of solanine in that green potato chip is minimal, so much so that you have to eat a couple of dozen green potatoes in a day to suffer any ill effects from this. And for reference, a medium potato produces roughly 40 chips, so you'd need to eat several hundred green potato chips to suffer ill effects, which is unlikely. I mean, I think I can speak for all of us when I say that eating a few hundred potato chips in a day is totally not a thing of us, which is unlikely. But of course, they won't typically be green, and particularly less likely in modern times to encounter any green potato chip as manufacturing processes have become more refined in relatively recent years to filter out such unwanted green potatoes and chips. All that said, you'll definitely not want to eat the leaves of the other above-ground portions of the potato plant themselves, as their solanine levels are much higher. But of course, why eat the leaves when what's down below is so delicious?